Governor Rick Perry's order to vaccinate sixth grade girls against HPV is now under the microscope by critics and fellow lawmakers who say they were left out of the loop. One high ranking senator is even questioning whether the governor's order is legal. CBS 42's Rebecca Taylor is live at the Capitol tonight. Rebecca, why all the fallback today? Well, you know, the fallout is not just about what the governor did. It's the way he went about it, Judy, that's causing so much of the controversy here at the Capitol. Now, Governor Rick Perry claims by preventing HPV, he's going to be saving young women from dying of cervical cancer. But some people, even in his own party, are questioning that logic. They're questioning the governor's motives. And parents are just left wondering what the right thing is to do for their daughters. Lady Melnick watched her seven-year-old at cheerleading practice today, pleased with the governor's HPV order. I think that it's a wonderful idea to vaccinate the girls against a, a cancer that, you know, it can be stopped. But not everyone is cheering on the governor's mandate. It is not an emergency. Senator Jay Nelson today called Perry's executive order unjustified and potentially unlawful. But it will cost us money. Um, the safety of the vaccination, parental rights, so many issues that uh, need to be answered. She wants the attorney general to determine the legality of Perry's plan, a plan that could cost the state millions, a plan Nelson says should go through the legislature. Still others are questioning Perry's ties to Merck Pharmaceuticals, one of his campaign contributors. There needs to be a full investigation of the relationship between Merck, its products, Governor Perry and the policies he's promoting. Some doctors calling it misguided public policy, claiming there simply isn't enough known about the relatively new vaccine. I am not anti-cancer vaccine. My advice is to get information about this and to not agree to submit your girl to your child to it until you have full information. Information like long-term effectiveness and risks of the vaccine. And the governor today released this statement saying never before have we had an opportunity to prevent cancer with a simple vaccine. He goes on to say if the medical community developed a vaccine for lung cancer, would the same critics oppose it, claiming it would encourage smoking? Now, the governor was responding to some of his critics, especially social conservatives who are concerned about the message requiring an STD vaccine for girls in sixth grade might send. You can bet if this does work its way through both chambers of the legislature here, we'll hear testimony from people concerning that issue and all those other questions concerning this potential practice. Live at the state capitol, Rebecca Taylor, CBS 42 News. Senator Nelson suggested today the plan will cost the state as much as $300 million. Our online poll asks, should Texas girls be required to get the HPV vaccine? Right now, 27% of you say yes, 71% say no, 3% don't know. You can still vote by going to our homepage at KITV.com.